We just um, saw this little short of Robert Kennedy Jr. essentially talking about Trump and Biden. Just wanted to have a, a quick look at it and share that with you guys, and then we'll talk about it after. Trump and Biden are kind of mirror images of each other. And of course, they're very, very different. They're different in temperament and their rhetoric and their uh, their personalities. But on the issues, there's not a huge amount of difference except on the culture war issues, abortion, guns, the border, all important issues. But they're not the issues that really have our country on the rocks. The big issue is the debt, $34 trillion debt. That, can sink our country. Within five years, 50 cents out of every dollar that we pay in taxes is going to go to servicing the debt. And within 10 years, it could be 100%. Oh, nobody can figure out how to make that sustainable. That's existential. Biden and Trump can't do anything about the debt. They were the ones who caused the debt crisis. It was their style of governance. They drove up the debt equivalent to what all the presidents in George Washington did. So they can't come in and say, I'm going to solve the debt problem because you know they presided over it so again that was a very quick video it was just like like i said it was a short but he's right there are differences between biden and trump but there's no there's no one talking about like getting rid of the national debt or about blackrock you know buying up residential neighborhoods things like that but robert kennedy jr is talking about it, and he's the only one talking about these issues of course he's got opinions on the border and gun control and you know, everything else, but that's kind of what, 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 what Republicans and Democrats always do, right? Like it's a culture war, personality versus personality, but they never really fix the issues like the border, like, uh, con like working on proper ways to control, uh, you know, murders, um, like gun murders, for example, which in my, in my opinion, I think the best way to do that is to actually work on the mental health issues. I've heard Robert Kennedy Jr. talk about that, right? I mean, hurt people hurt people. The less mental illnesses you have, you're going to have less murders because sane, nice, loving, happy people don't go around shooting people, right? Switzerland has the same amount of guns per capita as the United States. They have not had a school shooting in over 20 years. So you got to wonder why that is. It's likely... And again, maybe I'm sure there's other factors, but it's likely a, a, one of the big factors is mental health issues. So, that, I mean, Robert Kennedy not only talks about these issues, but he goes in depth on these issues. And this is why, you know, he's such a, a good political candidate, the best one I've ever seen in my life. And probably the same goes for a lot of you. And, you know, he's just such a you know, personality wise, he's much different from, than Trump. He disagrees and agrees with him on some issues, but not on, on others. But, you know, he's... Um, He's willing to think for himself, do his own research, talk to experts, analyze situations. He's a very intelligent, well-spoken uh, politician. He's not being rude to anyone. He's not name-calling. He's not acting like a five-year-old. I mean, it's, it's actually kind of nice to see. And this is what people have been asking for, by the way. And for some reason, a lot of these people are like, nah, I don't like him. I'll choose Biden or I'll choose Trump. It's like we've already had four years of, the, of both of those guys. Yeah, you can ar argue that uh, um, until COVID came around, things were better under Trump. For sure. I would agree with you. But imagine how much better things could be with Robert Kennedy. Just think about that for a second. An independent president who actually wants to stop wars, who wants to stop BlackRock. He wants to fix the national debt while also working on the other issues like the border, gun control, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that are important. And by the way, he's on the left. He's not like some right winger. He's not like some far right wing nut. He's also not a far left wing nut. He's firmly on the left, right where liberals should be. This is why, and a lot of you like this guy. Um, so that's going to be it for this uh, video, guys. I'm going to be back shortly with another one. I'm going to be breaking down some like, more Canadian politics. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I appreciate everyone who watches this video. Take care.